But it is our instinct to hunt it's and kill and eat meat. It's also male instinct to rape women. Right, we could just eat humans the same way. They're also edible. No, it's actually bad for you. Uh, what? Why You're do we right, have sex? But having consensual sex is something way different than hanging sentient beings upside down and slitting them for something that we but do But I'm not talking need. about hunting. Man, that was intense. She had some compelling points. I like how she used the flag against me. But I feel like she was kind of more in the right than I was, you know? During AV United, I noticed a streamer called Virtruth live streaming our entire cube. The day after the cube, I could simply download his broadcasting into the internet and make this video out of it. Since he didn't only just broadcast our entire outreach conversation, but also the 20 minutes afterwards, simultaneously talking about what was going on in his mind and the thoughts that we had discussed and talked about just minutes before was incredibly interesting and insightful. I believe that for many newbie street activists it can be very frustrating to keep on talking about animal suffering to people on the streets and not always reaching the point where people will go and say I'll go vegan now. This does happen, however, it doesn't happen as often as tense situations arise in conversation. It's worse if your conversation partner leaves your discussion thinking that you agree to disagree. You should leave the conversation rather with a feeling of discomfort, still having thoughts and arguments twisting around in his brain in the next 30 minutes, days or even weeks, until he himself might decide that maybe you were right after all and maybe he should go vegan. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. I thought it was incredibly interesting to see this unique perspective to what goes on in a person's mind after our outreach conversation. Let me know in the comments if you would have argumented in a different kind of way or who you even think won this discussion. If you wanna see more videos of this kind, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Also follow me on TikTok where I post mostly German but sometimes English videos nearly every single day. Unless of course TikTok has once again banned me for showing slaughterhouse footage. And now enjoy the rest of the video. Oh nice, we've got some content here. Dude, should I show like the weird animal gore I can't show that animal gore stuff on stream, right? Yeah, I've got to watch out. Dude, they're gonna ruin my stream with their weird like poor animals dying and stuff like that. Hi there! Uh, because of animals. Um, what we see here is um, chickens having their throat slit and a lot of blood and Wait, I need to being... make sure I'm live right now. Alright, okay. It just... No, it should be fine. Alright, um, yeah. so you would say that this is cruelty to animals and you're yeah, against yeah. cruelty to animals. Um... Well, that's a I mean, long thinking pause for such a straightforward question. I mean, obviously I'm against cruelty against all living things, yeah. but life is inherently cruel. Alright, so, yeah. uh, I get like, that, yeah. but just because life is cruel, that's not a justification to also be cruel. Uh, yeah, for sure. Purpose, right? so, like, yeah. I, I, I'm not cruel to people, I wouldn't do that to animals. You know? right. Okay, okay, so you wouldn't do that yourself? Then? Yeah. Do you yourself consume animal products? Yeah, but I make sure I buy like the bio stuff. Okay. Yeah. Well, so I'm fine with like killing animals. I like to go hunting and like kill animals myself. But I don't like appreciate how the. Yeah. I mean, I don't really like watching this, you know. But oh, I. I get that nobody likes that because yeah. only zero to five percent of the world are psychopaths and they would not mind watching this. The rest yeah. of us, we're deeply hurt by it. But you said you don't mind killing animals yourself. Yeah. You don't mind that. But is, is it necessary? Um. I mean, if I want to eat meat. Yeah. Theoretically, yes. And is eating meat necessary? Um, no, but like what in life is necessary? Well, I could also become a homeless person like Theogenes and just live in a pot, That's you know? true, but we're talking about what you need and you said you are against unnecessary cruelty. Yeah. So and what we do to animals, we already said is cruel. So if I, That's say, cruel, but I don't yeah. think me hunting and killing animals, okay. it's still... If you were in the eyes of the victim, and you were the victim, would you like to be hunted and killed? Uh, no, but so there's different ways of dying. So you would consider that cruel, or you would consider it brutal at least, so it's not necessary that you do it and you act upon something that's not necessary. If but those animals were humans, and you just said, I'm guessing that your reason to go hunting is because, ah, this region has too many deer, so I'm just gonna shoot one. No, my reason so to go hunting is that if I want to eat meat, I should be killing okay. it myself. All right. Uh, I don't know if that honors you or if that shocks me even more, because if you have lost your empathy, that you probably has a child, where every child would say, I would rather just not kill the animal if it's not necessary, then that speaks that you have callused yourself. And that's something that Alice happens good to all of our society. When we grow up, we lose the empathy. When we were children, all the animals did was make us laugh. 
they, they made us happy, they gave, gave us love, they were such a, um, a joyful thing in our life. Yeah, they still are, I yeah. still love animals. But how can you love someone and kill them? Because that's just the way nature is, you know? Alright, but would you kill your girlfriend? I'm <laughs> killing or a human. Or whatever like, direction you are. <laughs> killing a human is something very different than killing an animal. Okay, where's the difference in the in the what is okay? Let me rephrase that. Sorry. What is the one characteristic that justifies killing this cow? But what, it's edible. All right, we could just eat humans the same way. They're also edible. No, it's actually bad for you. Uh, what? Eating a cow is good for me. Eating a human okay. is actually bad for you. It okay. can give um, you actual yes. viruses. Okay. If there you are eat actually the brain, like tribes. Yes, there's kuru kuru. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I realized that, but that's if you eat the brain, it's also the same. You get a lot of sicknesses, this pandemic included most probably, because we eat animals. But I'm not talking from my health point here. A human meat is just as edible and just as nutritious, whatever you want to call it. Not that we need that if, kind of nutrition. If, like, I would eat human meat. All right, but what we're talking about here is the one characteristic that justifies putting pigs in gas chambers that pigs have, but humans don't. What is that one characteristic? That, that humans Name the have? Trait that the, the one characteristic that pigs have that humans don't have that justifies killing them and eating them for food that humans don't have. Well, they're the same as me, the, the humans, you know? No, no, no. Yeah, but <laughs> it's funny because you're holding a gay pride flag, so I'm guessing that you're not homophobic, right? No. All right. So if we're talking about homophobia and sexism, mm -hmm. or heterosexism or racism, we are bringing forth a, th um, a way of thinking that's absolutely irrational and cruel discrimination against people who are just different from us. So that is the way of thinking that you go. And what we're talking about here is not spe is not racism or sexism, but it's a different word that maybe many of you have not heard of yet. It's called speciesism. Mm -hmm. So we discriminate against animals on the basis of their species. I, it isn't really discrimination. Okay, look, humanity used to have to hunt animals. Okay, it's in our instincts. Used to have yes, to. So we're but talking it's in about our instincts. Past. Okay, if you want to talk about like overcoming our instincts, then why do we? Yeah, well, sorry, yeah. but why do we still have sex and stuff like that if it isn't necessary? I'm not talking about overcoming your instincts. But, but it is our instinct to hunt and kill and eat meat. It's also male instinct to rape women. But looking into natural instincts, when we're talking about a society where you're live streaming into the internet, mm -hmm. is pretty perplexed wouldn't you say? I mean, because having sex in general is instinctual. Why do we have right, sex? But having consensual sex is something way different than hanging sentient beings upside down and slitting them for something that we but do But I'm not talking need. about hunting. All right. You know? But you would not have to kill an animal just You wouldn't for have to have sex either. But there's a difference between consensual sex and murdering a being that does not want to die. I, I, I'm not sure. I feel like if we look at controlling ourselves and choosing what we do I feel like having sex with someone for lustful reasons yes. is the exact same as like killing an animal so you would like say that. that murdering a being an innocent being that is left to your mercy yeah. is the same as having loving sex sensual pleasure how many people have sex out of love no uh, what, matter how many? if it's just a shared pleasure, that's all right. Love, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. I'm not. Let's call it love. Let's call it pleasure. Let's call it lust. Let's call it. I'm drunk and we both wanna fuck. Okay, it's consensual. But yeah. there's a big difference between I'm drunk and we both wanna fuck and look. I wanna eat this leg of this pig. I'm gonna put it into this fucking gas chamber and gas it to death. Yeah, yeah. Why do you keep on bringing up the fact of stuff okay, when I'm talking about hunting? That is you know? what is happening, and I'm guessing because you said before you eat animals not only from hunt you also said that you look at where you get them from yeah so i'm guessing that you're not only going hunting yeah but in All future right. one day i'd like to only okay go but hunting. right now we're t i'm talking to you right now and not in the future we are here in the present as we always are by the yeah. way it's always now um you are still contributing if you eat pig products to the 40 million pigs that are being gassed in germany and austria every single year I'm talking about sentient beings who have the same kind of suffering that we humans go through, that are being put into the same kind of gas chambers that we used to put other discriminated individuals in. I'm talking about the Holocaust of but the But when Second I buy World bio War. pork, when I buy like um, green pork, whatever it's yeah. called, are they put into gas chambers? Yeah, there are no biological slaughterhouses. Mm -hmm. Some of them are stunned before with an electrical sling. Um, if you watch that video long enough, you can see um, how that's absolutely inhumane. But I'm thinking that you're talking about a humane way of killing, right? Yeah. And also the hunting is often put forward as a humane argument. Yeah. What is the definition of humane? 
I have no idea. All right. The definition of Samien is with mercy and with uh, kindness, worthy of human treatment. Would you say there's anything merciful and kind about taking somebody's life who does not want to die? I feel like it's all extremely morally great because it's as I said, it's just a yes life, or no question. Uh, it, nothing in life is a yes All or no right, question. All right, so you think that it's kind to take somebody's life who does not want to die? I'm not talking about euthanasia of somebody Well, life is inherently dying. suffering, so potentially ending someone's yes. suffering could be kind. Yes. Right, that's what I said. That's euthanasia. That I'm talking about doing it against their will or their will that you think. How that can they I have. know the will of an animal? All right, you probably know my will right now that I, I don't, don't want to die. But you, are you? Do you really not want to die? Are you sure um, about that? Okay, let me rephrase that question. If you thought that I would die, want to die, then it would be kinder of you to not kill me. So why the fuck are you not killing me? Yet? So that would make you very unkind. I am hoping in a civilized, civilized world, we're killing so many animals that we're not civilized, that you would, this is, uh, by the way, when pigs are not being gassed, which they most are, this is what happens to them. They get the electrical thing above their head. And you can show that to the people. No, I, I, I don't think I can. <laughs> oh, I, they should definitely see. Watch the movie Dominion on www.watchdominion.com or just type Dominion into YouTube and watch the video. It just shows footage from the industries. And if we would exchange these beings for humans right now, which we would have to do if we are against irrational discrimination, which you are if you're holding this flag, then we have to break the barrier of speciesism and interchange these suffering beings for humans right now. But I mean, some humans get treated like that as well. Absolutely, but that does not justify doing it to the animals, does it? Yeah, but I I wouldn't do that to an animal. All right, but if you buy animal products, then you are doing exactly that to the animals. You're seeing them as products, and as soon as we see animals as products, We are sending sentient beings to a place where we would not like to go, the slaughterhouse. And nothing humane happens in the slaughterhouse. Do you agree that like gassing is bad and but like hunting is a bit better, right? Look, I do not think that any quality of life justifies murder. And yes, I see that the wild deer has a better life probably than the industry kept pig who was then brutally gassed to death. But I do not think that any quality of life or any way of killing justifies taking somebody's life because in that moment you break humanity. Okay, so I can't kill flies either, right? I think that if you have the choice to do it or to not do it, then I think it would be morally better to not do it. Yes, that's my opinion on it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you say that life is inherently suffering, right? But that You could debate that it is. I I absolutely say so. I absolutely say so. and I'm on your side, absolutely, here. But yeah. that does not justify us contributing to even more suffering. Because once you go vegan, you exempt yourself from the biggest amount of suffering in this world. And that is coming from the animal industries. That's the biggest amount of suffering? Well, just by the numbers alone, we kill over uh, one trillion animals every year. Alone in Germany and Austria together, it's 800 million beings being innocently brought to the slaughterhouse, a place where we would not like to be for products that we do not need. Mm -hmm. So I would say that yes, the biggest form of cruel and unnecessary oppression that is happening, the biggest moral emergency on this planet is our stance to animals and their, their own personal holocaust. The animal holocaust is the biggest moral emergency on this planet. And if you are not vegan, you are actively contributing to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I, I think it's good you could share your opinion with the stream and stuff like that. And I, I think uh, some people, um, it was good to hear all of it and you brought some very good points. And I think it's time for me to move on. One more thing. Mm-hmm. If, you are against, if you are against irrational discrimination on the basis of somebody just being different from yourself, then ask yourself, what is the one trait that differentiates a pig from a dog that justifies killing the one but petting the other. This is speciesism and I ask every single one of you to look up speciesism, to watch the movie Dominion on YouTube, just type in Dominion and stop the Hannibal Holocaust from happening in your name. All right. Go vegan. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, about abortion. Should I go back and ask about abortion? I'm not sure why I ran away. It's just like the energy was like really viral, uh, really dead. I mean... She has a lot of good points and stuff like that, you know, but it's like, dude, when it talks about immoral consumption of products, you know, where do you draw the line? Jesus Christ. Pigs can be cute as well, you know. 
but yeah, it's weird that she makes it so black and white. But I feel like she was kind of more in the right than I was, you know. Um, I don't know. It's in, she had some compelling points. Wait, that was intense. That's why I had to run. I'm gonna run a bit more to get like that energy out of me. Should I go back and ask for her like social media or something like that so she can be on future episodes? I like how she used the flag against me. Base it. <laughs> no, stop using my flag against me. My pride power. She's using my pride power against me. <laughs> Get her socials? Okay, okay, okay. And invite her onto the stream to talk about it more in the future, you know? Okay, where is she? Can't find her. Hmm. I think she's one wearing the mask now. I can't really talk to her if she's wearing the mask. Uh, uh, Vir Truv. What? My chat wants you to uh, like. Do you have socials? Do you want to yeah. like be on one of my streams and discuss this in future? Yeah, sure. Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay. Uh, should I show you guys her Instagram? I mean, she just said it anyway. Look. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we can invite her on to future streams. Easy. Can't wait for the season finale, which I invite her to. So she's the first person met on my stream. Perfect. She's invited to the season finale, baby. Exactly, dude. I need to find someone that doesn't give a shit about animal rights. Perfect.